I cosplayed as Sergeant Hammer from Heroes of the Storm, and I'm going to show you how I made my costume. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me for a cosplay craft. This year at San Diego Comic-Con, I cosplayed as Sergeant Hammer from Heroes of the Storm, and I documented my progress. So this is video number three, Sergeant Hammer's helmet and goggles. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know, you can support me for $1 a month on Patreon. You can find links for all the materials you will need for this project in the description box below the video, both on YouTube and at CraftyMcFangirl.com. Before I began my cosplay build, I downloaded the PDF from Blizzard Entertainment. Blizzard put out a series of helpful guides for people who want to cosplay as their characters. You will need a tactical helmet, vintage aviator style goggles, blue painter's tape, a craft knife, silver spray paint, I used Rust-Oleum Antique Pewter Spray, red acrylic paint, orange acrylic paint, light brown acrylic paint, and antique or brushed gold metallic paint, paint brushes, a black permanent marker, and a brown permanent marker. Start with a tactical helmet. I got this one online for about $15. Use painter's tape to mask off the black padding area at the bottom. I got these aviator style goggles online for about $10. I used painter's tape and a craft knife to mask off the eyeglass pieces and the elastic band. But you can skip this step if you like because both of those masked areas will be painted with acrylic paint later on, so it turns out that masking them was not really necessary. Take the helmet and the goggles outside into a well-ventilated area to spray paint them with a silver base coat. I used Rust-Oleum Antique Pewter Paint. You can use any silver paint that you have. You may want to spray paint two coats for full coverage. Allow the paint to dry in between coats. Once the helmet is completely dry, remove the painter's tape. When the tape is removed, use a black marker to draw a line all the way around the helmet as shown. Refer to Blizzard's Guide as you're drawing and painting on your helmet. I used a paintbrush and silver acrylic paint to touch up the spots where I messed up my lines. Once you have the lines drawn on to your liking, use bright red acrylic paint to fill in the area in between. It may take more than one coat of red paint to get opaque coverage over the silver spray paint. Allow each coat to dry completely before applying another coat of paint. Once the red paint is completely dry, it's time to draw on lines to add the look of panels and shadows and just generally give the helmet a three-dimensional look. Shade the top and bottom of the red band and then section the sides into four equal parts and draw the shading and stitching lines vertically on each section. The final step is to paint on gold or bronze brads to the corners of each of the panels. There are four gold circles on the corners of each panel for a total of 16 around the helmet. You can use gold paint and then shade them with a marker to add detail. Next, we're going to move on to the goggles. When the spray paint on the goggles is completely dry, remove the painter's tape, if you used any, and begin by painting the eyeglass portion with red acrylic paint. It may take several coats to get opaque coverage. Once dry, paint the bottom half of the goggle glass with orange paint. Your final paint should look something like this. The next step is to paint the elastic band a light brown color. It will take two or three coats of paint to get opaque coverage. 
Make sure to let the paint dry in between each coat and stretch the elastic a little bit so the paint gets good coverage. While the elastic band is drying, it's time to work on the details of the front of the goggles. There are seven spots where there are gold and dark brown details. You can see that I started with a layer of dark brown paint for these areas, but thinking about it later, I realized you can start with gold paint and then go over with a brown marker once the gold paint has dried. Refer to the blizzard guide to see the goggle details. The final step is to put the goggles onto the helmet and use a brown marker to draw the details onto the elastic band. If you would like to add a microphone to the helmet, I took a few photos of my process. You need a piece of thick aluminum wire and a chunk of open cell foam. I found some packing materials in a box, or you could use a sponge. Fold the wire in half and then cut a piece of open cell foam into a circle. Stick the ends of the wire into the foam and glue them there. Hot glue the other end of the wire to the helmet. Then slightly curve the wire to make it angle a little towards where your mouth will be. For extra security, I cut a patch of black craft foam to glue over the wire. This will keep it in place and not allow the wire to pull away from the helmet. The final step is to use black paint or a marker to make the silver wire appear black. And your helmet and goggles are done. If you'd like to see how I created a belt, some bows, the gloves, a wig, and some clothing for my Sergeant Hammer San Diego Comic Con cosplay, check out my other three videos. Thanks so much for crafting with me, you guys. I have four videos in my Sergeant Hammer cosplay playlist, so if you missed any of those, check out that playlist. And if you enjoyed this craft and you want to see what's coming next on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, you can support me for $1 a month on Patreon. I put a link in the description box below.